I talked about the basics of WUI on the Rift in the last video, so now it's time to do a benchmark. Uh, and for benchmarking VR environments, what I do is I use this program, which is the Nanotech Construction Kit, which allows you to interactively model molecular structures. And the benchmark is just I build a well-known structure, in this particular case a C60 Buckminster Fullerene, and I time myself how long it takes. And then depending on the time, that is a very good measure for the immersiveness, responsiveness, and just the usability of a VR environment. So I'm just going to go ahead and start building. Um, by pressing the shoulder buttons in empty space, I can just create uh, atoms, and using the top inner buttons on the rift, sorry, on the hydra, uh, I, can just, uh, I can just pick up the entire space and move it around. So this is the same basic user interface like I showed in the other video, only in this case the two shoulder buttons I linked to uh, to create atoms. So here I'm just going to go ahead and build this thing and we are going to see how long it takes. So here I need a pentagon. I'm not going to talk very much because I'm not focusing on doing this thing in hopefully the shortest amount of time I can. The amount of time it takes to do this is really a quite a good measurement. Uh, it ranks anywhere between uh, about one and a half to two minutes uh, for a really immersive environment to about, well, on the desktop, to do it using just keyboard and mouse interface takes about 45 minutes. So there's a pretty clear discrimination between those environment types going on. And even though the Rift uh, is not positionally head-tracked, it only has orientation tracking, as you can see, um, it is still, it works surprisingly well in this context because the 3D is just generally so good uh, and the, the, the orientation and tracking uh, is, is very snappy and the field of view is just really amazing. I have that other head mounted display, actually I have two others, but the other one I'm using a lot is the Imagine Visor Z800 uh, and that has about a 45, 46 degree field of view. And it's really difficult to use this program because you're just lacking so much of the, uh, of the context of what you're doing. Whereas this here is really, again, even though the Razer Hydra is not an absolutely tracked positioning device like I explained in the other video, uh, it works surprisingly well uh, given its limitations, so there's really no complaining there. This feels very nice to use. Uh, I'm not getting dizzy or anything, of course, it's just super stable. And I think I'm done already, so I didn't measure the time right now because I couldn't do it in the video. Uh, I'm going to measure the time and post it in the video description, but it seemed to be pretty fast. And I was doing really a pretty good job here. <coughs> Um, so that was that was nice. Uh, I can now you know pick it up, move it around, yay! Uh, fill it with uh, let's see, fill it with a couple of spheres in here just to see if it fill out the buckyball. I'm just messing around. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, <coughs> uh, so let's see. Oh, this is awkward. Ah, okay, that doesn't work so well. But at least I saw what I was picking up there. So. Uh, yeah, that's the that's Nanotech Construction Kit um, on uh, on the Rift. Let me just very quickly check if I actually built something reasonable. No? Oh, well, of course, I... Yeah. Uh, that's funny, all these triangles, sorry, all these spheres really messed up my... messed up my counting. Yeah, spheres go out of here. Let's see, I can throw in a couple of octahedra and they're always fun to do. These are... Uh, the triangles, of course, are carbon atoms in the configuration for fullerenes, i.e. nanotubes or buckyballs, uh, and these octahedra are aluminum oxide, aluminum oxide building blocks, and the spheres are just, well, <laughs> they are just spheres, they don't really do anything, it's just funny to play around with this. Okay, so much for that, um, I'm going to go through the other UI applications in a couple of other videos.